pass is deflected, going to be stolen, I think, by the doctor. Yes, he's got it. He, here he comes. Ray rocked the baby to sleep and slam dunk. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey folks, good day to y'all. How's it going? My name is Sean David and I welcome you back to the Basketball Time Machine. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends giving their opinion about how good the great and amazing Dr. J. Julius Irvin was. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. Alright, enough said. Let's get right into it. Today's video is brought to you by AG1 by Athletic Greens. AG1 combines nine health products working together as one in a daily nutritional drink, replacing your need for many individual vitamins and supplements. Okay, let's be honest, as much as I always wanted to take care of my nutrition, in reality, it was just too much taking care of everything. I'm always on the move and always on the road, so I needed a solution. And for me personally, the AG1 drink was just that. All I had to do was to include the AG1 by Athletic Greens into my daily morning ritual, just mix the drink and I was ready to go. Super simple, super easy. And the results speak for themselves. I have a lot more energy because the AG1 provides nutrients that support sustained physical and mental energy. Like the kind we need on a busy day or a heavy week. Also, it includes key nutrients for the energy powerhouse of the body, the mitochondria, which support heart health and help with energy. Another thing that I noticed was my mental clarity, a neural supporting formula that helps me multitask and manage my ongoing to-do list with ease and attention to detail. Now let's talk about the taste. Now, if we're honest, most healthy stuff tastes terrible. So I didn't expect too much at first, but I can assure you that the AG1 tastes not bad at all. So if you want to get your nutrition back on track, act now and give it a try. Click on the link in the description box and get your AG1 by Athletic Greens today. Now the first player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is a former teammate of Dr. J's and one of the greatest TV analysts of all time, Sir Charles Barkley. Let's hear what he has to say. Dr. J is probably in more highlights than any player in NBA history. It's a very short list. Let me say this. If they had Sports Center like they do today, Dr. J would be the top one of the top 10 players like every night. I mean, that's how, that's how iconic. I mean, he made a play every game, and obviously it was a different time. But he would be on that Sports Center top 10 all the time nowadays. It's 89 84. Sixers, and they get inside. Everywhere we went, you know, everybody talk about Dr. J. Obviously, I knew what he could do because I played against him in practice. And, and uh, you know, I, I wasn't starting, so, you know, we played against the starting team. And so I, I saw what he was able to do. And it was he could do everything, you know. Uh, you know, he had the mid-range jumper. You know, he could get by anybody. He could dunk on anybody you know, uh, all different kind of way. He's one of the guys that, you know, it was probably kind of scary how he dunked the ball. You know, uh, you know his hands was big, he palmed the ball real easy. Um, I mean, he was special, man. Still is special to me, but Doc was the doctor. I owe a lot of my early part of my career to the doc. Now the next player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is from Michael Jordan, who obviously was inspired and influenced a lot by Julius Dr. J. Irvin. Let's take a look. For the first time, so I was Julius Irving, and you know he brought so much creativity to the game. Here comes Julius Irving. You know what's next? Oh, what a shot by the doctor! You know the under the hand against the Lakers, where you're behind the basket. We all try to do it once he did it. What a play by Irving! That's a play that only Julius could make. I guess I would have never had those visions if, if I hadn't seen 
Dr. J in his time. I definitely remember uh, Julius Irving. I was at that, that, that stage, I guess, where I really got into basketball uh, when he was sort of in his prime. Uh, Dr. J, to me, was the NBA, and uh, I just remember him dunking on everybody. <laughs> Look out! Slam dunk! Oh, doctor! There are some guys in the league that when you play them the first time, it was special. And so I, I, we, we don't play Philly for a while in my rookie year. And we play them there. We, we go in the locker room in Philly, in this old spectrum, and the locker room's quiet. We had a bunch of kind of fun guys that yapped a little bit. It was a whole different vibe when you played the Sixers because the year before, in 1980, the Sixers beat the Celtics in the conference finals, Eastern Conference Finals, led by Dr. J. So uh, that morning at shoot-around, uh, ML Carr says, okay, look, you're in the guard doc. He said, you just really got to make him go left. You know, he, you know, he said, don't, you know, don't let him go right. So the first time I get up on Dr. J, like I, I jump up on his right hand, you know, and he kind of gets the ball and he's got those big hands and he kind of gives me a little jab step and then he throws it around me and he, and he goes right, you know, and, and, and I'm thinking, okay, don't let him go right. You got to make him go left. So the next time he gets the ball, he's on the wing. I am so far on his right hand. I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm like almost out of bounds. I'm standing on his right hand so hard trying to make him go left. Well, he goes left but he does it with his right hand he throws the ball out here i'm so far and he dunks it back this way back over on me and i went like so i come over the bench and you know and and, and um you know I, I look at ml car and i go like oh my god he said i said i'm trying to make him go left he said well i didn't say it was easy the guy's one of the best players who ever played i just told you make him go left i just started laughing i thought if you made him go left he couldn't play and so yeah ML Carr, i never said it'd be easy and that was my remember that was my first time of guarding Dr. J and playing against him. Dr. J could do things in today's game guys cannot do. Julius truly was a legend, but the entertainment, my friend, is in the style. Now, the doctor, oh brother. Julius was like that bird coming in on the wing, swooping in. We always looked at Dr. J as like an alien. Where'd this guy come from? <laughs> you know, look at what he does out on the court. My God, you know, there was nobody like him. Me and Dad Dawkins over there. Oh my, oh, did He was the first guy I ever saw with air brakes. Air brakes. He was going to the basket straight, and all of a sudden, he said, and started going sideways. How did he do that? I was like, you know, somewhat like a girl. Oh! Never saw it before. Uh, seeing him fly through the air, uh, the first time I ever saw him do it actually was at a basketball camp. It was at a Magic Johnson's basketball camp in Lansing. And this is my first year in the league. I hadn't, I hadn't really got into the NBA yet. And we were barnstorming in the summer. And Dr. J made an appearance at Magic's camp. And I never forget, you know, all of us and the kids, we standing around the around the court on the baseline, and he's got us clapping. And, you know, he starts from the other end of the court, and he just takes off running, but he's not bouncing the ball. He's just running with it. And I had never seen anybody just run with the basketball. And normally, you know, as a basketball player, you bounce it, get your rhythm, bounce, 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 jump. But he just starts running with it, and everybody's clapping. Boom, boom, boom. And all of a sudden, this dude jumped, and I said to myself, oh, he's not gonna make it. And he goes, who? And I go, he's not gonna make it. And he goes, ooh. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna make it. And then he, it's like he hit another gear in the air, and it's like, and he like exploded, and he got to the rim, knocked it down. The whole place, you know, went up, you know, all the kids just ran out, started hugging him because, you know, you had never seen anything like that. Here's the most interesting part that I remember about that. We were outside. That didn't happen indoor, a nice, fancy place. It was outside on the concrete 
and he did that. So how good was Dr. J in my opinion? Well, I gotta be honest. Dr. J, in my opinion, is not only one of the most influential players of all time, but I got him in my top 25. Not only because he had this great athleticism, but the way he carried himself and how important he was for the NBA, I think we don't give him enough credit. So Dr. J, much love to you. And to you guys, thanks a lot for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.